Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name's Tiago. I'm on a roll today. I've just filmed video after video after video. I feel pretty good. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about how to be a more productive person, how to be productive today, how to be productive tomorrow, and how to be more productive in your life. I've been listening to a really good audiobook. It's called High Performance Habits. It's really good. I think I'm gonna to listen to it a second time um, just because it is that good and there's a lot of information in that book. Anyways, so I wanna to talk to you guys about how to be a more productive person. I wanna share the steps I take to be a productive person on a daily basis um, so that you guys can see what I do and so that you guys can learn and apply that to your life. Okay, so do you feel like you run around in circles every day? Do you feel like at the end of the day, you look back and you don't, and you didn't accomplish anything? Do you um, keep on procrastinating and putting things off day after day after day? Well, sometimes I do that too. I fall prey into this, but I have been getting better. I have been applying things that have made me a more productive person and I choose to be a more productive person because I feel better and I can accomplish more and I know that you guys want to accomplish more too. So the first thing you have to do is change your mindset. It all starts in your head. I don't wanna be like a rah 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 guru or anything like that, but it is a mindset thing. You have to rework your brain, you have to put focus and you have to take a decision today to be a more productive person. So, okay, you, your mindset changed. You are now focused, what do you do next? You have to have goals. You have to have a short-term goal. You have to have a mid-term goal and you have to have a long-term goal. Not a lot of people talk about mid-term goals, but it's good to have those. Your short-term goals are gonna be things you can accomplish today in a week or even in a month. Mid-term goals, probably half a year to a year. Long-term goals, two years plus. I like to look at it five years as a long-term goal. Now, why do you need those types of goals? Because if you don't feel like you're a productive person, you're not gonna accomplish what you wanna accomplish. And I do have a video about accomplishing goals. If you guys wanna check that out, feel free. I will make more videos in the future. So, okay, let's talk about today. Let's talk about how to be a more productive person today. What can you do? The best thing is to be organized. The best thing is to be a minimalist. And that's what I'm gonna talk about. So how do you become more productive? So I'm gonna give a short example of me. So what I do is I wake up, I have my breakfast. That's my morning ritual right there. I need coffee. Coffee is amazing. It's the best thing ever. Um, I don't recommend coffee because it is so good and you will keep on drinking it. Anyway, that's my that's my little bad habit, drinking coffee. So once I'm in the I'm in the living room table, I have my coffee, I take out a notepad. I actually I'm actually using a different type of notepad now. It's called a productivity planner. I always recommend this to people, and that's basically how I write down my goals. I can go over the productivity planner later, but basically is uh, let's say you don't have that little productivity planner. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to list out everything you wanna get accomplished today. And I mean everything, you know, from laundry, to meetings, to emails, to business deals, to starting businesses, anything you wanna to do today, write it down. Once you wrote everything down, you're gonna to wanna to prioritize it, right? Maybe one to five or one to 10. One being the most urgent thing you have to do, one being if you don't do it, the world is literally gonna end today and 10 is you can hold it off for a while, right? Anyways, so you, so you go numbering things down on that list, one through 10. Um, once you're finished numbering things out, you're gonna wanna reorganize that list. You're gonna wanna actually put things in a numerical order and see what you truly have to do. Now, my biggest recommendation is, you know, just being focused on a few things because if you're focused on everything, you're gonna get confused, you're gonna get um, discouraged, and you're gonna sit around and procrastinate what we do daily, you know, because nowadays we have our phones, we start flipping through our phones when we don't know what to do. We sit, we watch TV, we walk around aimlessly, you know, we eat, you know, and we just feel sad. 
when you're not, you know, when you're not productive, you're, you're, you're not as happy as when you're productive. It's a proven thing, you know, and we are meant to be productive people. So choose, I, I recommend three things, right? But you can choose three to five things you can do to become a more productive person. So choose the three to five things that you can do today, right? And then put those things in order. Um, maybe it's setting up a meeting with a big client or maybe it's sending an email that you've been holding off for a while. Maybe it's working on your house. It's something you've been putting off and maybe your roof's going to collapse or uh, you need to redo a deck or something like that. Something that is bigger. I don't know. It's what, whatever is big to you, you know, you, you, you put it on that list and you say, I'm going to finish this thing now. I'm going to give all my time to finish this thing. And you basically put it on that day. Make sure you have enough time too. You know, you're going to want to organize this around your day. Cause we, I, I know you're busy people. I'm a busy person. We all have to work. We all have things to do. But again, it's just being a more organized person and having less to do in a day. That's why I said minimum of things you need to do is three things. Because, you know, you're going to have less stress, less worries, and more focus. And you're going to want to focus on one thing at a time. What I recommend too is once you get that task accomplished, if you're able to get that task accomplished, and I recommend getting that task accomplished, you're gonna to wanna to rest a little bit after, maybe 10 to 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes at the max, just so your brain can de-stress, declutter, uh, you can do some nonsense, then you can like flip through your phone or you know eat or whatever, but just you know after that time, then focus on your other other thing. Same thing, once you're you're laser focused, you're, you're finishing it. Then again, once you've finished it, take another break on to the third thing. And then if you're able to do three things, then you can move on to other things, right? But at least you finished three things, you know, three major things that you've been holding off, that you've been procrastinating, that you've been, you know, putting it off to other days. Um, and, and, by, and, and by finishing these, these three things, you'll actually see how much time you have in the day, how much time you have left. You'll start looking at things broader. You'll start feeling better. You know, maybe you want to add a fourth thing. Maybe you finish that, you add a fifth thing. And at the end of the night, you look back and you're like, wow, I haven't done this thing that I was supposed to do last week and I've got everything done today. Sometimes you finish everything and you're like, I don't know what to do. You know, I have time. Go have fun at that point, you know, or, you know, invest in yourself, learn, watch videos like these. And that's why I make these videos. You know, I like to share the things I do, the steps I take and what makes me a better person. I wish I knew these things a while back. You know, I wish I grew with somebody telling me these things. I didn't. I can't, you know, I can't look back to the past. I just have to look into the future and move forward. Um, and that's why I'm sharing this with you because it's simple steps that help me to become a more productive person. You know, being minimalist, being focused in, in having a goal, you know, is really going to change your life. And that's why I recommend, you know, you guys to do that's the steps that I take. I have videos about these subjects, so feel free to subscribe to this channel. Take a look at the videos. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment in the, in the field down below. Make sure to leave, uh, if you have any questions, also ask questions. I love to answer them for you guys. Make sure you ring the little notification bell so that you know when videos like these come out. And I'll be with you guys next time. Till next time, guys.